there was no disproportionate decrease in mortality after the introduction of measles vaccines to high-income countries. Not from measles and not from any other type of infection. And proof of that is found in core infectious disease textbooks used by medical schools, such as this one by Nelson, 2005. See the bottom line here? That is infectious disease deaths. Look at it after 1950. And you can see that there is almost no progress of decline in infectious disease deaths. Here's where the vaccine for measles in America came in. Now compare that to the disproportionate fall in deaths that happened beforehand. That first measles vaccine was used in America in 1963. Look how all deaths decreased independently of antibiotics or vaccines. Influenza and pneumonia in 1900, 202 per 100,000 died. By 1935, there was no influenza vaccine. We're down by half. By 1970, when there was a very poor vaccine only given to a small amount of the population, we're down further. Tuberculosis, almost gone by 1970. We never used BCG vaccine in America. Gastroenteritis, almost gone by 1970. There's no gastroenteritis vaccine. Now today there's rotavirus, but there wasn't then. Typhoid fever, it's gone. There was no typhoid fever vaccine in America. Measles, 13.3 mortality rate per 100,000, which is very low compared to these other diseases. By 1935, we're down to 3.1. By 1970, we're down to zero. Dysentery, whooping cough, scarlet fever, meningitis, it's all the same. The trends were clearly going down before the vaccines. So I wonder why so many people are unaware of tables like this from medical textbooks that show the decline in death before the wide use of vaccines.